Hello, YouTube. Oh, okay. Hey, guys. Hoops right off the side of her diaper. Get a grip, woman. Ah! Today, I am going to try working out for the first time. Letting guys in behind the scenes. Welcome to my messy, messy house. It is breakfast day. My husband's festival that he created, which shocked me when we met. I was like, you just made a festival? Decided you want to do one? That's so ambitious. I would never. Good for you. Um, so that's really fun. It's a breakfast theme. Pop rock, not pop rock, punk rock, pop punk festival with a bunch of bands and eggs and bacon and donuts and coffee and music. No, no, it's really fun. So anyway, that's today. But first, coffee. No, just kidding. But first, the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my diabetes appointment. Whoop whoop. I don't have diabetes, but I, as of a few weeks ago, I am pre-diabetic. So, I have to go to my endocrinologist. This is my first appointment with her. She's amazing. A legendary doctor. Saved my husband's life. Whoa. I'm really honored that she's taking me on as a patient. I'm really excited. She specializes in diabetes, which is cool. Anyway, we're gonna go to my appointment and I have to bring Lily, which I've never really brought Lily to like one of my appointments unless I also bring my husband and then he waits in the lobby. So this will be interesting. After that, we're going to a festival. <laughs> what a day. So I'm on my morning walk with Barrett. It's like eight something a.m. and I tell you guys like my mental state what's on my mind lately since we decided we're gonna like go for it again with originals which was like our original original plan it feels so right to me like my mindset I feel like it's like totally changing and my mind's like expanding and I'm just like so excited that we're doing this again we have so many good original songs that we just we kind of like gave up on them I don't know what happened over time over doing this for so many years somehow we just like got like stuck in a rut and we left all of the these great originals just for dead, left for dead. So it's like really exciting and kind of scary. This like new era, new Simrelli era that it's about us like sharing our lives like right now, doing this kind of stuff, letting guys in behind the scenes, showing you like what our life is like and then actually stepping back into us as original artists, our, our original like dream and goal and everything and really what we do best and our songwriting and stuff. And I'm just excited for this new era. Hello. Here we are. Max, tell us where we're going. Huh? Tell us where we're going. Am I allowed to do that? What? Let people know where we're going. Yes. We got the babies in the car. It took us a long time. It's a nice Saturday and it's our wedding anniversary weekend. Our wedding anniversary is in two days. So we're kind of spreading out our celebrations because with babies you never have that much free time in a row. So Max, tell, tell the people where are we going today? We are going to the bakery where we got our wedding cake. Get some of the same cake that we had at our wedding. And also we were just playing music and I think Dominic was trying to sing along, but I didn't catch it because I've turned the music off to film. But it was really funny. He was going ah! over and over again. That was really cute. We'll see if we can find our wedding cake. Stay tuned. Today I am going to try working out for the first time in a couple weeks because I was sick and had COVID. <laughs> But I'm fine now. I think I lost all of my muscle. But one of my goals this year is to be able to do a pull up. So I got to keep trying. I have six months left. I haven't really made that much progress. The progress that I made, I feel like I just lost it in the last couple of weeks. So we're gonna try it. See, see where I'm at now. Ah! Okay. <sighs> oh. Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, I did 10 of those. <laughs> like, that's enough, done for the day. I feel like a weak little ant. But you know what, guys? It's better to do something than nothing. I am gonna do more than that, but that was a lot. Okay, that is a little bit darker. Oh, I love this shirt. It's a little I'll bit darker in the pic. Oh, the so white is cute. We have this design. If you want to look with your eyes. Looking with my eyes. <laughs> what are you so about this? Just do we like Good, it? Good, bad, thoughts. Ugly. Every I don't feel like I like this color as much as it looks yeah, like. Yeah, I'm not super drawn. It's not as like it. royal as like, I want it to be. In my closet, I have a giant stack of t-shirts yeah, like and just me personally, all the like also darker the blue ones, 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 I don't wear them as much. Yeah. But that's just me. I like lighter, brighter. I, I love, love this I have a different color shirt that. that's a little darker than that that I love. It's like a royal blue. Well, this is what we're working on. Yeah, so I'm just, just saying, I don't bad. know if I love this color as much. Okay, not what everyone said a few weeks ago. Because remember there was the yeah. other two other three. <laughs> and that one actually 
actually right? like more in person. I think that's kind of cute. When, when I'm we blonde, have the You Will Move Mountains, I'm not as not drawn to wearing it a lot. That's just me. Again, being but, honest. Yeah, people like Christina love that. I, I think you're seeing like oversized like beach vibes. Yeah, Ooh. I think that one is really cute. I think the blue is really so, good, actually. Here's my real question, though. So we have these two designs, and oh, which goes cool. on which? So there's oh. this, that. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Go back up. It's really small. Okay, yeah. that big or... or small. I like or on the side. Uh, I like the side. Crap. I kind of like it better mm -hmm. on this shirt. And yeah. the other design on the That video. one is like... Is that the back or the front? This is the front. This is the back. Okay, I have an Anna Maria Island shirt where it's like a little like breast pocket thing and then a big one on the back on like teal, but I actually wish it was more like... Big on the front. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It feels more like beachy. Look yeah. where I went. Even though no one went to Sacramento. Like yeah. a big... That's yeah. cute! Yeah. I yeah. actually... Yeah. Like Especially that. on an oversized? When you have an oversized yeah. shirt with a little design, it's like yeah. so much... You're right. Fabric. I really <laughs> like it. Okay, that. so then the last thing is this zip up, which I think works... Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's my family. She loves Modern Family. What? Since when? Oh my gosh, why did I know it? Since when? The other day. Do we like? I like it. I need your opinions. I I've been giving you my opinions on everything. Oh, okay. I said I didn't like this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is another color that I don't know that I would really reach for. I'm just saying. I don't really wear one of blue. this on or hold it up to your face. It would look so good. Hold it up to your face. I just don't know. I'm, but I'm telling you, I don't know. No, that I, I see. For it. You don't wear that color. But yeah. Mom but but if you guys always wear it, if you think other people you would wear like it, you like any of these colors. I love the yellow. Okay. I love the yellow. I don't like the other three, but so, I like yellow. Just not my. It maybe it's just not my collection. You know, it's fine. <laughs> How are you gonna wear that? Yeah, Spotted clothing. I hate. Fifty percent off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at my closet. I think it's cute. I think it's cool. But I would wear it. This design. Okay. This design on this hoodie is not. Quite doing it for me. What about the other person. one? I have a Ron John hoodie with more with like a surfboard and like a you know sunset thing on the back. It's more like I went to the beach. This one is more like <laughs> I went to the Hamptons. It feels a little bit more the design like a on the hoodie. hoodie. Okay, this is what it is. The hoodie feels more laid back, but the design feels more preppy. Oh, so maybe okay. we should do the other one on yeah, the hoodie. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. So it's going great so far. Um, I realized my appointment was at nine and not 9.30. So I ran out the door. And if my appointment is at 9.30, I will be pleasantly early and able to find parking and all that. And if it's at nine, I will be five minutes late. So I made that work by some miracle. God had my back. He's like, look at the clock. I looked and I went. That's where we're at. We're really late. Check back in after the appointment. So I'm here today recording our new song, original song. Oh, I get so excited because I know that you guys also get really excited and we do original music. Um, let me just get my mic set up. It's funny how we think about you all the time. Okay, so that's my first solo. Oh yeah, let me do that one. You don't miss me at all. Oof, just like gets you right in the heart. It's, so, it's such an emotional part. Oh, I love the song. It's such a good song. I'm so excited for you guys to hear the finished product. Okay, so I just finished making the demo. Well, my demo idea for You Don't Miss Me At All. We were talking about it earlier today. I was like, oh, I really want to do that song. She was like, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't really like hit right for me. And I was like, no, no, no. Trust me. I can make it hit. It will hit. I cried to this song so many times when I was like 17. I know it hits. So just let me make it hit and I will say it hits. Maybe a little too hard, I don't know, but it definitely hits. Okay, it's April 26th, 2022. I'm pregnant, almost like 25 weeks. I cannot believe we're recording um, You Don't Miss Me At All. I was just thinking to myself, I never would have picked this song as an older song that we should redo and actually finish. I'm just so surprised that how much I love it. I don't know, I just thought like, eh, it's one of my subpar songs, but now I'm like, it's really, really good. And you don't and now you act. I'm trying to remember the words, you know. Let me move this. Oh. Oops. Ah. Last minute vlogging. <laughs> I forgot to film at my appointment, but I just finished. Did a surprise glucose tolerance test. Sorry if I'm chewing, annoying you, but I'm so hungry. I went in fasting, because I assume they're gonna do blood work, which they did. And then they're like, oh, since you came in fasting, let's get a blood glucose tolerance oh, test done. And then we'll just know immediately by Monday where you're at, and we can make a plan. <laughs> because the blood work results that I brought them didn't have all the information. 
unfortunately. I had to drink 50 milligrams of glucose. It's so gross. It tastes like really, really sugary flat orange soda, like not sparkling. But it was only 50 when I was pregnant. I had to drink the 100 gram and that was horrifying, horrifying. So this is only 50 and then they, they drew my blood right before I did it and then three times more after that. So I just got my blood drawn four times. Craziness. But anyway, that's all done. We're gonna go home and get ready for the concert. Woo! It is 1.23 p.m. Okay, so quite literally have secured the bag. I found the cake. I was so nervous because I didn't see it in the bakery at first. So we officially have our wedding cake ready to have for our anniversary celebration. It's like, the, it's not a whole cake, but it's the same kind in like a small version. And then now we're gonna walk around with our boys for a little bit. Okay, so we also decided to stop into the church where we got married, but it looks like there's like a wedding or something going on. So we're just gonna go into a little chapel and like have a moment with God to reflect. Hey guys, I'm here today and Alex Hello. is teaching me how to change my oil on my vehicle. And this is very exciting. We're about halfway through. We went under the car and he took off the bolt thing and now the oil is draining. Drain plug. Drain plug. And now the oil is draining into the, what is it called? Pan. That's going well so far. Right now we're attempting to take off the fuel or the oil filter thing so I can replace it. But also I'm really short guys. Like this is difficult to try to reach things. But okay, let me give you a view of the engine. Okay, what we're trying to do right now. Okay, so right now we're trying to take that thing off but we can't find a good enough wrench or not wrench. Well, yes wrench, but something that fits it well enough. So we're working on that right now. Alex is auditioning wrenches. There's another adjustable wrench. Okay. We don't like to use adjustable wrenches when we can avoid it. but. We I don't like adjustable it's wrenches. It's not a 7 8 and it's not an inch. It looks like it's a 16th of an inch more than a 7 8 Ah, uh, is that the size they make? Yeah, it's just we don't have it. Okay, so now we're uh, doing this ring. thing. Woo! Everyone, he would like you to know that he is married. I just like my wedding ring. Yeah, he likes his wedding ring. So let's see. You know what would be great for this is that big blue handle thing, but let's try this. Ah, oh, I'm scared. Oh, that didn't work at all. Whatever, we'll figure it out, guys. We'll we'll tune in later when we find it. So weird that I recorded the demo to this, I think over 10 years ago, maybe. And now you act like you don't even know me. I like how Lauren is May in her second new version demo. Oh, I gotta warm my voice um, and do this a million more times. So I'm already like, oh my gosh, I have harmony ideas. I already wrote harmonies for this 10 years ago, whatever, but I have like, I'm gonna add those in and do new ideas. I want Lisa to do ad libs. I'm so excited about the new bridge that Lauren made. Ah! So I'm doing my blood glucose tolerance test and I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that today. Last time I did it, I felt the whole day was out the window, but I was pregnant. And today is breakfast. I'm supposed to be at a festival at like two or three o'clock. So I was like, I'm just gonna get done. It's, it's early. Anyway, didn't have food for Lily. I didn't know we were gonna be here that long. Didn't have diapers. So I'm like, okay, um, is there a break in here? Like an hour where I can go get her food because she needs to eat in an hour. It's like, yeah, like after the 60 minute mark or the 90 minute mark, then you can go get it. So Lily hadn't had a nap or a bottle. She was coming right up on both of them. We're in the office, just small building. And they give us this back room with like a recliner and like the door shuts because someone else there like brings their baby to work or something, I don't know. So we're in this little room, but everyone can clearly hear her like screaming and being like, ah! feisty, upset. I'm trying to like play with her, keep her entertained. It's so difficult. So finally, I realized there is no hour break. We're doing all 30 minute in in intervals. So I leave after the next one immediately, we're into the store. I'm like, where's the baby food? I'm trying to find it. And they're like, oh, it's upstairs. It's a two story building. Are you kidding me? So I have to go up the elevator. Um, the whole time I'm looking at my phone, like, oh my gosh, I have to be back at 11.55. It's 11.42. The store is only a mile away, but I'm like running through. Finally find the formula, buy a bottle, buy a diaper and wipes because she needs to change. Get back, run upstairs, do the next blood draw, and then put her in her stroller, give her her bottle, and the doctor comes in and starts talking to me while we're like hanging out and she's eating. Time goes by, I forget to change her. Just like by like 10 minutes. She eats her bottle, looks at me calmly, poops right out the side of her diaper because it's full, all over the stroller. And then she starts kicking her legs. It's all over her legs. I'm like, oh my gosh, Lily. Luckily the doctor left right before this happened. But I had di di diaper and wipes, luckily. Cleaning her, cleaning her, cleaning her. I'm looking around the room. I'm like, oh, I'm in a doctor's office. It's an alcohol prep pad. So I used that to like wipe the stroller down even more, but it was so chaotic. It was so chaotic. The most like chaotic doctor's appointment I've ever had by far. It was like a funny memory, but I'm so glad we're done. Now onto the fun part of the day. Okay, let's take a listen. To me. Oh, 
<laughs> okay. I think it's really good. Guys, we're doing it. And by we, I mean Alex. You're Great helping. work, Alex. I'm just watching and filming. But I do want to try some of it, okay? Okay. okay. I'm going to climb up there. Let's see. You can do it, Amy. I believe in you. Get a good grip on it. Get a grip. I can do this. Get a grip, woman. Ah! <laughs> uh, my calves are dead. Quite functional, actually. They appear to be holding you up at this moment. <laughs> Oh no. Get one more, Amy. You can do it. Let me have so definitely buy the socket for the next one. Yeah, we're buying a 24 millimeter. Be very careful with the ring, Amy. Yes. It's one isn't ring that to rule what You used to blow up an engine one? Yeah, that's what I used intentionally <laughs> to blow up an engine. Okay. Okay, now pull the filter out, place okay. it in the box. Ah. I'm paying a lot of attention to the camera angle. There you go. Now you could probably squeeze the box itself. That's probably quite hot, isn't it? No. Oh, okay. Just pull. I think it's not tight. Just pull. No, you're twisting. You need to pull. <laughs> It's a dirty job, baby. <laughs> My girl would be proud. Uh, why can't I get it out? You need to pull harder. I am pulling. Here, trade me. Uh, you hold the camera. It's pretty hot, just so you know. That's probably quite hot, isn't it? No. It's pretty hot, she says. How? See? How'd you do that? Well, you twisted. You cheated. And you twisted. No, it's not a twist mechanism, though. Okay, well, you twisted while you pulled. Everyone saw. Okay. Gonna work or not? That's working. Now, just make sure you don't overflow the funnel. Oh. But keep it going. You want to make sure all the oil goes in the funnel and not elsewhere in the end. Is it going to ruin something if it does? Yes, it'll ruin everything. Pour faster, <laughs> but not too fast. Ah. I just switched to 0.5 times. That was unnecessary. Why are you doing it, Amy? Good job. I'm like, it's like kind of culty. Like, you feel like you're in a weird, like, I don't know. And like, mm, I wrote that. It's so good. Even the day I met you. Ah! Oh, so good. This is literally what I do when I listen to stuff, when I work on stuff the whole time. I'm like, because it's just like, you know, the music really moves you. <laughs> cake woohoo happy two year anniversary yay so i'm working on that you don't miss me at all acoustic today it looks like i lost all my hair but i think it's just back here so we had our good friend brian wig aka brian white he spells the name w-i-g-h-t so we call him brian wig i hope he knows that i think he does anyway <laughs> we had him lay down some acoustic guitar for it he's really good and he added a couple other things to it like some percussion and other stuff so i'm kind of just going through that and taking some of it out adding a couple of things in just kind of messing with the sound a bit so i'm sending it to my sisters to see what they think hey so, well i don't know if i just yelled but you know what happens i'm here in our studio which is in the background of our videos to record you down Ooh, you down you don't miss me at all it's so much better to me to record myself like i used to be recorded like when we lived in la by like engineers and they really made me mad a lot because they you'd be singing and you're like in the middle of their take and you're like stop and I'd be like excuse me and so this way when I do it myself I get to just like record myself and do as many takes as I need I can do like a million takes let's do a take let's do a, a pass as they call but you don't miss me at all <laughs> Okay, that's good. I like it. Somewhere out 
out there is someone I used to know. And to, oh, I did the words wrong. Ah, it's before. This is our brand new merch collection. It's called the Coastal Collection. I actually made these designs and they're inspired by like tourist t-shirts because I always love that like beachy vibe in those souvenir shops, hence the name Coastal Collection. I kind of wanted it to be like as if Cimarelli was the name of like a cute beach town. So this shirt is like beach dyed fabric uh, where it's like that like softer kind of like, Very, like beachy love feel. Yeah. Got like a big design on the back. So Super cute. I wanted it to be like, thanks for visiting. But instead of visiting, we said thanks for watching. Cause like, that's what we say at the end of our videos. <laughs> and then this is that same design, but on this cute zip up, you can see Christina. I'm obsessed with it. Showing it off right it's now. It's definitely a go-to. This is a very good quality hoodie. This is it such is. a good like piece, you guys. All right, so this is the same like cut of the other shirt. It's the same like beach dyed garment. On the back, we just got a little Cinderella. It is rustic red. Um, and so this one says Sacramento CA because that is actually where we are from. We were, we were born. born, so it's a little Easter egg Bread. moment. Yeah, in 2007 was when our band started. Last but not least, we have the yellow hoodie. I love this. It's more of a subtle white design. And then on the back, we just have the seagulls. Yeah, it's yeah. like a summertime hoodie. Yeah. All of these pieces, we try them on before we even print anything on them to make sure they're the right cut, they're the right color, that they're exactly what we want. So it's not just willy-nilly, oh, merch, merch, merch. This is like Very real details. Make sure you go to store.simmerlymusic.com and get it. I would shave my head. I love wearing makeup. Woo! I think it's whoa! Yeah, I did not whoa, guess whoa, whoa, that. Whoa. Thank you know our voices, time to put your ears to the test.